Hi, today I'm going to talk about clearing, setting, flipping, and testing bits. I'm going to start off by talking about clearing bits by using AND. You can use AND to turn off selected bits. By clearing, I mean you change the bit to zero. If it's already zero, it remains zero. If it's one, it becomes zero. First thing we have to learn to do is how to create a mask. We want to put zeros in places to clear and ones in places to keep. For example, create a mask to clear bit one and a one byte number and AL. Bit numbering starts on the right with zero. And we put a zero in the one spot because that's the bit we want to clear. And since we want to keep the rest of the bits, bit zero, bit two, three, and so on, we put ones in those spots. Now we can apply our mask. one and one is one, one and zero is zero, one and one is one, zero and one is zero, 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 one and one is one. So we've kept these bits And that's why we had all these ones here. We also kept this bit. And we cleared bit one, which is why we put the zero here. So this one becomes a zero. Suppose we wanted to clear bits seven and four. So we put a zero in the four spot, a zero in the seven spot, ones in the places where we want to keep bits which is the rest of them bit zero one two three five and six and now if we apply our mask we want to clear these bits keep these bits so these are the bits we want to keep this is why we have ones here so we do we want to clear this bit and it is cleared. We want to clear this bit and we end it with a zero and it is clear. And we keep these two bits zero one by ending them with one one and they are still zero one. So if we've cleared these bits and kept the rest. You can actually use and to do some practical things we can convert an ASCII digit to a number. If you take the character one, which is 31H, which is in binary 00110001. To convert this to a number, to the number one, all we have to do is get rid of the three. These two bits here, which are bits five and four. So we want to create a mask to clear bits five and four. So we put zeros in those places and ones everywhere else to keep the rest of the bits. And now we can apply our mask. Here's our 31H in binary. And we're going to get rid of these bits by applying zeros in our mask and ones everywhere else. So when we're done ending, we've cleared these bits, kept the one, kept the zeros, and we end up with one. 
So we've converted the character one to the number one. You can also use and to convert lowercase to uppercase. As it turns out to convert lowercase to uppercase, all you have to do is clear bit five. For example, convert lowercase a to uppercase a. To clear bit five, just create a mask with zero and bit five and ones everywhere else. Zero and bit five, ones everywhere else to keep those bits. Now, let's apply our mask. We, this is the binary for our letter A. And we notice the one in bit five. And that's the bit we want to clear. So our mask has a zero in bit five and ones everywhere else. And when we're done applying our mask and anding, we've cleared bit five, kept the rest of the bits. And as it turns out, this is uppercase A. Now you try it to convert lowercase z to uppercase z. And actually this mask, this mask works on any ASCII character A to Z to convert lowercase to uppercase. The one problem with AND though is it changes operand one. When we AND operand one, operand two, it's the same as saying, putting the result in operand one. Sometimes we want to test some digits but we don't want operand one to change. And that's where test comes in. You can use test to see if certain bits are on or off without changing operand one. But behind the scenes, it, it sets the flags like and. For example, if we want to check for numbers odd or even, test bit zero. So if we test var x with one, and var x is a one byte number, we actually ended var x with zero, 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 one. And if var x is something like one, o, one, o, the zero here means it's an even number. And after we and it, are using test actually, and, but behind the scenes it works like and, we would come up with zero. So per this test, if the answer is zero, then we can do a jump zero if the number is even. And if the number is odd, Instead of a zero, then we'd have a one. And that would be odd. Zero is even. And then one and one would be one. So then we could do a jump not zero for odd. Bit zero is one. We can also use test to see if a number is positive or negative by testing the leftmost bit, the sign bit. For a one byte number, that's bit seven. So for a one byte number, we wanna create a mask with the one where the sign bit is. So for a one byte number, that would be bit seven. So we put the one there. And if we do a test and the number is even, there would be a zero there. And the result would be zero. So the number is positive. 
and then you could do a jump zero positive. But the leftmost bits are one, and we're ending it with one or testing it with one, then the result would be one. So that would be jump non-zero for a negative number. But using test also sets the sign flag. So you could also use jump sign and jump no sign. Jump no sign for positive, bit seven is zero. Jump sign for negative, bit seven is one. And this concludes our discussion of using AND.